Hey folks, this is my 2015 Harley Davidson Softail Slim. Um, I've had it for about a year uh, and I've done a few mods to it, so I thought I'd just post this little video uh, and help out in case anybody's looking at what to do with theirs. Um, and frankly, just because I want to. <laughs> um, so here she is. As you can see, the first thing I've done is replace the front fairing. Um, this is a heritage or deluxe style fairing. Um, it's a custom chrome one, which I then had painted because they come in raw steel and put the put the trim on the front there. Um, but one of the things I love about the Softail Slim is it's just a really retro looking bike anyway. Uh, and you know, out of the factory it's more of a bobber, but I quite like this sort of more classic vintage look. Um, the next thing you'll probably notice is that I've put on a, a deluxe style seat as well. Um, the slim seat is, is horrible. <laughs> it's really, really hard. Um, and even though I've put some gel padding in it, it's still too hard. So I've put this one on, which I think actually with the bags on the bike, it kind of suits it. Um, and I think it looks quite nice. The other thing is the bags themselves. Now, I didn't really like any of the Harley ones because they're quite big from the back and I quite like this sort of messenger bag floppy look so these are actually just 50 pounds or 55 pounds each I think they were from Amazon they're just leather um, uh, laptop bags so and then I took them to an upholsterer and as you can see he's riveted in a plate into the back of each bag which I've then used to attach with the easy brackets um, so it's a much, much cheaper alternative. I think the easy brackets were maybe 150 pounds. The bags, as I said, 50 quid each, ish. And then the work to put them in the, you know, to have the upholsterer work on them was probably about 100 pounds. So, you know, for sort of three to 400 pounds, well, no, less than that. Let's say 300 pounds, you've got a set of, set of saddlebags, uh, which I think look really nice. Um, the other thing I've done is put these little trim rings around the front. Uh, they're Harley Davidson ones. I don't know why they're matte black and not shiny, but they only come in matte black, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, and then the exhaust, I've got um, the Vance and Heinz VO2 naked air cleaner behind the stock cover. Um, and I did have some big shot staggers on there, but I didn't like the look of all the sound of them, I have to say. So I went back to the header pipes. The, the stock header pipes. I've got the um, the fuel pack uh, FP3 under the seat as well, so I've tuned it nicely. But then at the moment I've got these universal slip-ons, these turnouts, which I really like. I just had to make up a little bracket for them. You can see two brackets in there, but really it's pretty easy to do. I've I've also tried the Palco Bell tip slip-ons, which I have at home and I really like as well. So I will probably swap between these. Um, I've tried the Vance and Hines 3 inch slash cuts, way too loud, didn't like the look of them. Uh, and the Chromeworks 3 inch slash cuts, again, just really too loud. So, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I think that uh, in the future I might put on one of those nice retro style headlight grills, quite like them. Uh, and some Firestone sort of vintage style tires but in the meantime there she is